Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing some super cute nails today if you saw the preview. I'm going to be using these Unagella Medium Almond Tips. I have that linked below. I'm going to be using all Savvy Land Milky Gel Polishes, which will also be linked below. A lot of pearls, some butterflies, and I did make this set um, before I started doing this one. It's just going to help me like go along with the process, but the hand is going to be different but similar. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So I'm pretty much going to work finger by finger pretty much through this whole tutorial. I'm going to start with a thumb and I had already buffed and shaped these so they were all ready to go to get started for painting. I'm going to try and like recreate that one that I pointed to a little bit and I'm taking this Icy Lilac Savvy Land Jelly Polish. It's number 26. Again, these will be linked below and I definitely, definitely recommend you check out these jelly polishes because they're my absolute, well, yeah, they're my absolute favorite. I get so much use out of these and you get so many colors. I believe it's a 30 pack set, which is really nice. Um, yes, so I'm going to do two coats on this nail and obviously carrying in between and then I'm going to get to work on the rest of this nail. How are you guys? Thank you so much for everyone who's newly subscribed and thank you guys so much everyone so far who's entered the giveaway. I'm super excited. Again, it's open till May 1st. So if you have not entered and watched that video, you should definitely go check that out next. I'll link that below as well for you. So yeah, we're just getting done with the second coat and look how smooth these are. These are really, really nice. Like I know Korean nail polishes are really expensive but you don't need them these are just as good so i'm gonna take this eyeshadow palette that i got from amazon and i'm going to take the purple and attempt to do some aura ombre i don't know i do end up messing up on this and i left this footage in just because i thought it was useful um when i made the other finger I used my bare fingertip, which worked way better. The gloves were kind of messing me up, and I don't, I don't remember. Do you top coat first? Whatever. I'll show you how I fix it. <laughs> Coming up. I try to blend it out with a brush, but I mean, it wasn't that bad. I could have left it because I end up covering it with so many um, rhinestone stuff, but I wipe it off. So I just took some 91%. Isopropyl alcohol, sorry that's my dryer, and um, wiped that off. It came off really nicely, so no worries there. Um, I'm just reattaching it because the putty was being a little bitch. So I am now going to top coat it and then apply the powder. And I wasn't really super happy with that either, so let me know. I don't know. I was all like frazzled because I these have so much detail so my brain like forgot how to do an ombre I don't know but it still turns out really cute so yeah so I just kind of like gave it an all over like darkening and then I went around the edges and tried to make those a bit darker and so I'm just brushing off the excess and going over it with my favorite top coat for now until I run out this one's from Sheen it's like two dollars and I love it so much I wish there was like a gigantic bottle of it because I use it so much so here are my charms for this now I'm going to need the small butterflies and a lot of pearls and I'm taking this rhinestone glue to attach them. I love this glue and I'm just going to make a dot for my butterfly. I'm going to place that down and flash cure it for a sec and then I'm going to place down the glue for the rest of the pearls. I am so obsessed with this nail. These turned out so cute. I'm so proud of these. I honestly think this was my most intricate and best set let me know what you think down below and i hope that you watched to the end of the video i would really really appreciate it guys so that's how that's looking i sped this up a little bit because sometimes i have difficulty <laughs> picking up charms like doesn't everyone right so i'm taking this little wax pencil and i'm taking some of the pearls in no particular order i'm just kind of freestyling here and doing what i think looks best and i am applying them in a circular shape to match the ring finger on the other hand which i am absolutely loving both of these nails i love the circle shape and i'm loving the pearls they're so beautiful i did link down below 
a set that you can get off of Amazon um, because it comes with the little caviar beads and I thought that was like really a good thing but you can obviously get all this stuff the pearls and stuff on Timu so it's up to you whatever but yeah and I'm also just kind of going back and forth between the skinny end and the bigger end and I'm just perfecting the shape that I want them in, making sure nothing's really hanging off of the edge and making sure that there's enough gel glue, which there is, and flesh curing. And then I do a full cure and then they need, it needs to be top coated. So there it is, fully cured, absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with butterflies lately, like so, so much. So I'm just gonna do a really thick but smooth layer of top coat to seal everything in. I'm going over the pearls and I am going over the butterfly because I don't want anything scratching or getting messed up. And the top coat is really helping just suck those pearls in so they are not going anywhere, ever. So now that that one's done, I'm gonna grab the pointer finger and I'm going to use this rosy pink Savvy Land Jelly Gel from the same set and I'm going to do two coats on this pinky nail. So smooth. I love these so much. I do have another kit, like a different version of jelly gels, which I haven't opened and swatched yet. So I'm really excited about that. While that is curing, I am also going to put a coat on the pinky finger of that same rosy pink shade and cure that. And when you're painting, obvious tip, make sure you go over it enough times to make it be smooth and make sure you're capping your edges and your tips so you don't have any um, cracking or anything, or peeling. So I'm now top coating that pointer finger quickly and I'm going to cure that and we will move on to the next steps. I hope you're enjoying this so far. If you are, give this video a thumbs up for me. I really appreciate it. So, moving back to the pinky, um, I'm taking a base coat and I'm going to use it as a blooming gel. This also comes in the kit. I really like this base coat. I like the top coat as well. I used it all, so yeah, that's why. Then I'm taking a nude pink shade from the same jelly kit and I'm going to just drop some drops on and let them bloom a bit and just cure it. Just to give it a little bit of dimension. The colors are really similar, but... I just thought it was a cute effect. Something simple, but you know, just adding a little bit of depth there. So that's what that looks like. So circling back around to that pointer finger, I am taking my rhinestone glue and I'm placing down some globs where I know that I want my charms to go. So make sure you use enough because you want it really sealed down. You don't want any gaps or any places for these charms to snag. And I'm taking one of those half butterfly wings. How beautiful are those? I love these. They're all iridescent and aura-like. And I'm also taking another small butterfly for this one and placing it above the wing. And I'm flesh curing quickly just for like, I don't know, five or six seconds just to make sure that they don't move anywhere. And I'm going to also take out these little, I guess they're, they're not silver, they're gold caviar beads. Um, yeah, and I'm going to add more glue and I'm going to kind of outline the butterfly and place those around it. After I do put this glue around the butterfly, I realize that I do want to add another rhinestone. So I'm putting a little bit up at the top. And I'm just going to grab my little picker and the little rhinestone I want to use. It's like a aura light pink shade. If you want any specific links, please let me know. I can no problem get those for you. So I answer all my comments. So do not hesitate to ask. And I'm just placing that down right next to that butterfly. And what else am I doing? Probably taking a pearl. I was really loving the pearls. Yes, it needed a pearl to kind of just balance it out and fill out the shape there. And we need more glue because I'm trying to make everything as symmetrical as possible. Symmetrical, but varying both hands. So yeah. So I did speed this little section up a bit. Um, and just a tip, if you're having problems picking up caviar beads, definitely get a little bit of glue on your wax pencil. They're just so much easier to pick up. 
just so you know. Look how pretty it's looking. Oh my god. All the colors go so well together. Like, I'm so impressed with myself, on you, honestly, with this set. And I'm also trying to outline the other edge of the butterfly with some of these beads, too. Just definitely take your time when using these little beads. They can be kind of aggravating, but um, it went more smooth than I was expecting. So that's what we're looking like. And I'm going to give it again a little 5-6 second flash cure there. Just to make sure all my little tiny beads stay where I placed them ever so specifically. And we're going to move on to applying some more pearls to this now. Let me know down below what your favorite rhinestone glue is. This is the like dupe of the McCart one. I also have the McCart one, but I just didn't use it yet. So yeah, let me know. I'm definitely interested. I love some rhinestone glue gel. Um, and I'm just going to start placing these pearls where I feel necessary. Use your discretion if you're trying to recreate this set. You know, it's better not to think too hard in my opinion. Um, just make sure you're trying to do some balance and like make the set a little bit cohesive. I like to make it different, but I like to make each nail cohesive in some way. So yeah. So I do end up spending quite a bit of time filling this nail with pearls. So I sped it up just a tiny bit. Um, so we're not here forever talking about pearls, <laughs> but I'm just adding more glue and I'm just trying my best to fit pearls literally everywhere, all different sizes, in no particular order, just what fits best and that's what I'm going with. And um, just make sure you're pushing these down so they're nice and secured into the gel glue and, you know, add more as needed. You can also, if you use too much, clean it up with like a flat brush and you'll be totally good to go. So, you can just watch me continue placing these pearls, and this nail is so epic when it's done. I am in love with it. So now I'm grabbing that pinky nail and we're going to start working on that by placing, um, you can place a line of rhinestone glue down the center of the nail and I'm going to take four of these little pearl gold circle charms and I'm going to place those directly down the center of the nail and then I'm going to kind of fill in some space with those same caviar beads once again. So here's what that one's looking like. Super cute, I think. And I'm just going to cure that. And I'm just showing the fully cured pointer finger. And now we got a top coat over everything to seal all of that beauty in. Again, I'm using that sheen top coat. And again, make sure you cover literally everything. You want to keep all your hard work safe and you don't want to snag on anything and you don't want any of the pearls getting scratched or losing their shine. So I'm covering everything. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. I am in love with this nail. So, so pretty. 
let me know what you think down below and watch to the end so you can let me know which nail is your favorite and now i'm just going to top coat the pinky as well while i'm top coating and we'll move on to the middle and the ring finger next So moving on to that middle finger, I'm going to be taking a milky, minty, green type color, um, again from the same kit. I want it to stay cohesive. Um, this is called Willow Green. It's really, really pretty. This is one of my favorite colors in the whole set, and I'm going to do two coats on this finger. How pretty is that green? It's like a jade, jade green. I absolutely love it so much. So I'm going to take some rhinestone glue gel and I'm going to place it around the corner. And I thought that I was going to try and recreate the nail from the other hand, but I end up filling this nail completely with pearls. So that's what I'm going to do here. So just enjoy me fully blinging out this nail with pearls, guys. <laughs>
we're finally on to this last ring finger here, I'm taking this Blushed White, which is a sparkly Milky Way polish, and I do one coat of this, I cure it, and then I'm going to take another polish and create like a marble effect with it. You'll see. It's really, really pretty. And super easy. Um, I can't say enough for these Savvy Land Milky polishes. Like, you know, if, you're, if you've been subscribed for a while, I, I, I am completely obsessed with jelly polishes, but just something about these and the fact that them are like, the fact that they're milky toned is just so beautiful to me, so I literally can't get enough. So I'm taking this Model 1's 2335 Mermaid Gel Polish, which will also be linked down below. It's so beautiful. It's like a green, pink, or a shift, and I'm just going to dot some all over and kind of let it spread and we're gonna just have a nice blend there it's so easy to do really and the colors worked really well together I didn't even cure the base color I just did this right on top Now let's move on to decorating this last beautiful nail. Um, I'm super excited for you to see this finished product, guys. These are everything. I'm super proud of these, if I didn't say that already. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing a layer of top coat, as we have been doing, and I'm going to take some rhinestone glue gel without curing, because, you know, you don't need to do that. It's just whatever. You can do it however you like, really taking my wax pencil I'm taking another one of those half butterfly wings placing it down so it's nice and secure and then I'm going in with another one of those um, Aurora crystal flat back rhinestones and I'm placing it beside the butterfly and because it fit really nicely so I just thought it was looking really good and we're gonna do a flesh cure on that as usual and we're gonna move on to blinging it out some more so I'm taking more rhinestone glue gel I'm going around the butterfly and I'm going to add some of those caviar beads
so here they are guys all finished I absolutely love them I'm just gonna give you a close-up before I apply them and then I'm gonna show you them on my hands so I hope that you loved these as much as I do let me know down below what you think I'd love to hear it definitely hit subscribe and like and I'll see you guys in the next one guys.